What's going on guys? Welcome back to another spectacular read through Terror Squad. We are in the building. You already know I am the big cliche. I am Big Papa Pump. Without the pump, I am the rock. That is never hard. King Kong got a lot on me. It's the one. You're only T B R Turbite reacts in the house, and I would just like to say, you are welcome. Welcome back, guys, to another read through of the one and only Berserk, and we are starting volume two today. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the reaction, man. You guys' feedback has been unbelievable. Makes me want to do more and more. Today is going to be a very long one, so I am prepared because I'm trying to get through. I'm going to try to do volume two because it's only, it's finished, it's um, this arc um, of these two chapters. It's like a hundred and something pages. I'm going to try to get through it all. So this one is going to be long, guys. This one is going to be the mecca so for the people who love to watch the full reactions over on the google drive of course um people on um or watching it on the google drive of course it's going to be split up i'm going to try to split it up into 30 minute parts so that way it's easier for me to upload easier for me easier for the videos to um process on the google drive and to come out quicker so i'll be able to hit you with that one time tomorrow okay so um what has been going on in berserk we all know they're in the basement right now and he found out about this behelith i think the name of it was behelith and i didn't know what it was this is a weird thing that a guy had in his this um former doctor had in the basement and he's talking about this the demon the fat the fat the fatty you know what I'm saying? The fat, the fatty dude, and that ugly, disgusting thing that's like um, this old doctor is telling guts that um, he's a demon. He like he ate his ear, and oh, it's just so weird to think about it. Um, so it was pretty, pretty cool, man. How this this um, this manga starts off. I'm loving it. The excitement, the the sword play, everything about it. Um, I'm enjoying so much. Um, you know, Puck is not so annoying as in, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's not annoying. He's more of, like, he, he grows on you. You know what I'm saying? He, he grows on you. So I'm definitely looking forward to more of him being the guide because um, Guts doesn't talk much. He doesn't talk much. He talks, but when he talks, you're like, really bruh <laughs> you know what i'm saying no no care whatsoever he uses action more than words and we just have to live with it you know what i'm saying like i i don't like characters that give that give too much dialogue you know what i'm saying too much monologues you know what i'm saying like it's one of the things i never really i i loved stuff that they said in naruto but sometimes it just went on for too long it just it, it, and that just makes it kind of and that's why we have the term now in naruto of talk no jutsu and, and all of this stuff you know what i'm saying so it's it's just like you know there comes a time for dialogue and a time for let our fists talk that's why one of the reasons why i um fell in love after not really giving it a chance one punch man you know after giving it a chance and realized i love how saitama just shuts his enemies up like dude are, are we gonna fight or what <laughs> you know what i'm saying like we don't have time for this banter you know what i'm saying i don't have time to hear your evil speech let's get busy right and i love guts he also um reminds me of of that so I am definitely willing to, I'm uh, um, not willing, I'm um, ready to see what happens next, of course. So we have the, um, the desire stuff, right? 
um, the Guardians of Desire. That's what we're going to be jumping in. The Guardians of Desire, episode two and three. Okay. So, hope you guys have been checking out the reviews, man. Um, I know you guys have given me feedback on the sound effects and stuff like that. I'm going to try to include as as much as I can. Not, and I don't want to overdo it with the sound effects. That's why you see I kind of pick and choose where I want to put those sound effects. I don't want to overdo it because I don't want to bombard you with too many sound effects and then you're not really hearing my voice and wh and how I'm, I'm reacting to some of the stuff. So, I really do. I try not to overdo it. That's why I'm not over the top. And if you guys are used to me by now, if you're not new and you used to see my anime reactions, I'm not an over the top reactor. Like I'm not gonna react over the top for something that's not exciting. Like I've I've seen I see reactors do that, and I'm like, what is so exciting about what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like it's just way over the top and it's just like they they do their thing, you know, they do their thing and I'm not hating on them. It's just that it's sometimes I'm be like, man, that just see, comes off like an act. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not really that surprised, but you're like over the top reacting to have people's reaction. Right. So um, we're going to jump into these two chapters, man. Um, hopefully um, and before I forget, man. Shout out to Anno. I don't want to mess it up if that's if it's A N O and it's not really a word, but it's if it's Anno, it's Anno, but it's A N O. I'm gonna give that guy a shout out, man, for for helping me out with you know getting the um getting the manga um offline so that I'm able to reshape it, do whatever I want with it, however I want to to fit it. And to also not deal with that that ad online. So, okay, I've put in my order for the Berserk manga. Um, just to have it in my collection, I have put in the order for it. Um, so, uh, there's, there's a couple of volumes that are not available too. So, I'm going to have to try to see if I can find those. But I've gotten what I can. Um, actually found volume one and a couple of a couple of other volumes that I've ordered that I'm not planning to really read or touch. I just add it to my manga collection. Okay, so um, so thank um, shout out to Anno again, man. Great guy that came through, hit me up um, over on the Discord and helped me out um, with that. So definitely, definitely shout out to him um, or her. I'm not sure what what gender it is, <laughs> so I don't want to mistake it. So we're gonna jump into this reaction, um, read through, man. We're gonna definitely jump into this and see what this volume two is gonna bring to the table. We're gonna do about 128 pages today, so we're gonna do chapter two and three. Chapter two is very short; it's like five pages for chapter two. I don't even know what that's about, <laughs> you know. But I'll see you guys definitely. For the review, um, for those of you guys on YouTube, um, you know, I have tried to remove the, the blocker, remove the blocker for like the exciting stuff. You know what I'm saying? For the exciting stuff. I've tried to do that. Like the surprise stuff, I will cut out. I will remove the blocker. Um, there's nothing wrong with you showing a little bit of the panels on YouTube. Um... I haven't gotten no emails from anybody or anything like that. So I think we're safe for now. So we're going to jump into this, man. Um, this intro was very long. Nah, not something I usually do, but I had a bunch of information to tell you guys and also to review what has happened already. So we're going to jump into this. I will see you guys for the review once again. Let's go watch the read, read through. All right, let's go do it. All right, shout out to Anno again, man. Life saver here, man. Uh, so we're going to jump into this read-through, man. Volume 2 is here, so let's get it. All right, Guardians of Desire, Chapter 2. Guardians of Desire, Chapter 
three. That's what we doing today. Okay, we got the sauce drawing already of my man guts here. Okay, so we jumping right in. All right, all right, all right. So we have here this ugly thing that's on the table, the behelith, or behelit, behelit, a behelit. Okay, so that's Guts' face. Finally, he's finally having a nut bust moment. Huh. All right. So, the old doctor says, "You know what this is? You know what this is? Oh, damn! Damn, Guts lift him up off the ground. Look at his peg legs. <laughs> Look at his peg legs. Like, yuck. lift him up by the throat." Um, so Puck, um, says, Guts, stop, stop, Guts, stop. Uh, okay, let's go back. So he's like, who the hell are you? Where do you get this thing? Oh, so the doctor says, it's not mine. It's from the castle. I stole it from the count. Okay, so he stole it from the castle. Okay. I'm telling. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Okay, so did Guts lets him go? Okay, so Guts lets him go. It's like, hmm. Tell me about it. Tell me everything you know. Okay, so he starts telling the story. So the old doctor says, my name is Vargas. His name is Vargas. <laughs> my name is Vargas. I used to be the castle physician. Okay, that makes sense. In those days, the count was a different person. He was cruel, but at least he was still human. Okay. But seven years ago, after getting hold of this thing, I'm wondering if this thing goes full screen. Hold on. It probably does, but I don't need it to go full screen because the full screen is probably going to probably going to take away the controls and stuff. Eh, it's not not no biggie. Could I could bring up the so that the controls are not showing, but I don't think you guys would mind, right? I, I hope so. <laughs> I mean, it's not that big a deal. It's bigger than what I had before. Like I can resize it and shape it however I want to now. So it's the window every you know, so that's big. Okay, so but seven years ago, after getting hold of this thing, the count changed. So because you took the thing, he's not human anymore. So may oh so maybe this behelith is where his control comes from, I guess. So maybe that's why he, he started killing people because it's um, being so paranoid because this shit is missing. Okay, so he began to treat people as if they were mere playthings, dissecting them alive, slicing them open, chopping them up, violating them, and then eating them. His inquisition of Heretics became nothing more than an excuse to acquire more bodies. Okay. Why was he doing... Yo, this thing is... Why does, that's not human, man. <laughs> that thing is not human, bro. Okay, next page. And as we go along, you are definitely able to see the page that we're on. Hold on. All right, if you look down, oh my God, why did they put it there? Hold on. Ah, man. The page number is shown, but it's not shown. It's not shown like, ah, man, this is crazy. That would be nuts. <laughs> okay, so you acquired more bodies. Um. So, he says, I couldn't bear to be a part of the Count's diversions, so I secretly fled the castle with my wife and two sons. 
Doesn't look like you have a wife and two sons anymore. What happened to them? But on our way out, we were caught and thrown in prison. Then the fiend hacked me up. Oh, wow. Alive, bro. And right before my eyes, he took my wife and my sons. Even now, the image is seared into my memories. Ooh. Damn, bro. So he just ate them. And look at this, man. He took his legs. But he, he didn't take his hands. Didn't seem like it. Damn, he got maimed, bro. Damn. Took one of his eye. He had to watch while this thing ate his wife and kids, bro. Look at this. Ew. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Look at this thing, man. What is that? Just ugly, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> Look at Puck's face. <laughs> oh, my God. And he's just telling the story. It's like, at the time, more than anger or sorrow, more than concern for my wife and two sons, I was... I was nothing but a prisoner of fear. Mm, I feel your pain, brother. I used the drug. I used the drug that I'd concealed to feign my death. Oh, so he faked his death to get out of it. Mm, and when the opportunity arose, I slipped out of the castle, taking this thing with me. It was a miracle. Since then, seven years have passed. During that time, I have tirelessly researched every aspect of the religion and the occult, but I could never uncover a single clue about the nature of this thing. This, this thing, what in the world is it? Is it? Ah. Uh. Wow. And Guts responds, it's a key. That key opens a portal to another world that overlaps our own. It's a key that summons demons from another dimension that have manipulated the dark side of human history since ancient times. Wow. The five members of the God Hand. We finally get... To know who the hell the freaking God Hand is. Okay, we still don't know who they are, but still. Good. Information. More information is always good. The five members of the God Hand. Yes. And it seems like... It seems like um, Guts is hunting them. Mmm. The nut butt face. Okay, so we see a castle here. What's that? Somebody sees comes to the door. Is this? I think this is the door to, to where they're at right now. So somebody might have noticed the door or something or heard what they, they're saying. Okay, so what's happening now? Who's this guy? Oh, this is Lord Zondark. <laughs> he finally getting up after getting his head stepped on and all this other stuff. Like Lord Zon, Lord Zondark, calm down, please, please calm down. It's my old man voice. Calm, calm down, Lord Zondark. Zondark is like, kill, I'll kill you. Everybody's asking, what's going on here? Okay, they come into the room. Oh, Fatty is here. The Count, or whatever his name is. The Count is here in the house. He steps in. So everybody's like, hey, 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 his majesty. <laughs> and he's like, what's all this racket? His lord's, he's like, his lord Sondark's condition. It's my old man voice. <laughs> Ah, 
Lord Zondark is mad, eh? Black swordsman. Black swordsman. I'll kill you. <laughs> it's like, so the count is like, mm. have everyone vacate the room at once, doll. Yeah, Dal is the priest guy, the old dude, so. He's like, it, Excellency, this is dangerous. May I suggest you return to your chambers? <laughs> mm. Okay. It's like a small hesitation there. So he gave he, he gave him that eye like bitch you I said at once <laughs> Give him that side eye like bitch you better listen to me right now Swallow scared him that look scared him It's like everyone leave immediately And he swallows Okay Sondark is going, why is he acting so crazy? He's he's out of his mind right now. Okay, so the Count grabs him from behind. Is he choking him or he's just holding him? Okay, just like, he grabs him from behind and is talking to him. It's like, you despise him, don't you? The Black Swordsman. Sondark replies, yes, I'd do anything, anything to kill him. It's like, Count starts laughing. Ha 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 ha. Very well then. <laughs> I'll grant you your wish. Oh, ew. No. Oh my God, what is coming out of his mouth? What is that? That is nasty oh my god Zondark is creeped out too oh ew Jesus uh, what is that man it's a caterpillar what is that coming out of his mouth with his mouth too oh my god he's like Take it inside of you. <laughs> no, bro. I'm good. I'm good. It's like my demon. Is it my demon or demon? Whatever. Demon. Maybe they spell demon like that. I don't know. My demon. Okay. So he did he take it? Okay. So soldier runs up to the to the priest standing outside the door like Lord Dahl Lord Dahl like, what is it one of our informers he says he knows the whereabouts of the fugitive the black swordsman you know how people you know <laughs> you ever watch you ever watch some shows you ever watch some shows and see when when soldiers come to the gate panicking about an attack that's how they always are <laughs> One of, one of our informers, he says he knows the whereabouts of the fugitive, the black swordsman. <laughs> so the priest is like, what? He's like, excellent. Take 30, 30 troops along with you. And. Okay, so, so um, the count comes out and he's like, wait. He's like, Your Excellency. Okay, so Count is talking to them. I guess he's giving them instructions. Like, we lose the element of surprise if you send too many men to kill him. And don't forget what happened this afternoon. No matter how many foot soldiers we send after him, it's unlikely they'll be able to stop him. I have a better plan. <laughs> Okay, so we have, um, so Zondark is back out. He looks different. He's calmed down. Everybody's surprised. 
He's definitely different. He's so he opens his eyes. Oh, his eyes are turned or something. <laughs> what does his eyes look like that? <laughs> what does his eyes look like this? <laughs> he's like, and now he's got I just noticed his mouth that he has he doesn't have regular teeth anymore. He's like you know, he's got the the shark tooth now. now he's not human anymore. It don't look human anymore. He doesn't have human teeth anymore. He got like shark teeth now. So he says Zondark, the time has come for you to wreak vengeance to your heart's content. <laughs> Damn, Zondark is excited. Everybody's like, oh, what? what, what? Anyways. <laughs> so, so, um, so Puck, they're back to the basement now. Back to the basement with the doctor and Guts. So they know where they are. So when they showed the door before they went to what was happening in the castle... Um, they showed someone else. Yeah, I said it looked like somebody noticed where they are. So, Puck is like, "Wow, it's really well made." What is 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 that Puck? No, that's um, who is saying that? I don't see who the bubble is pointing to. Is it Guts? It's probably Guts that says it's really ma well made. Um, why? <laughs> Puck is <laughs> trying to make that face is not going to help you, Puck. Trust me. <laughs> That's a weird. Puck is trying to make the faces on the mon the the um the behelit. Okay. And then he touches it. Try he sneaks up on it, tries to touch it. Looks like something is happening. He's like <laughs> Puck is like, "Shoo." I don't believe it. It won't budge an inch. But if you look closely, it's kind of got a neat looking face. It's art. Yeah. Art. <laughs> I don't think that's art. I think it might suck you in. Did you not? <laughs> so it looks like Guts <laughs> kicks Puck. Okay. And then he's like, it's not artwork that thing's alive why didn't you tell me that before i was just like buck buck is like why didn't you tell me that before i touched it you big jerk well it may be alive but it's no danger in its current state let's say it's kind of a tool okay so guts here again Oh, so Puck is asking a question. Well, how does it summon the God Hand? And and Guts replies to him, Stupid! I wouldn't be going through all this trouble if I knew that. Mm, they're trying to figure out what's going on with the Behelit. Okay. Okay, so Guts chimes in again. I forgot to ask you something. Hmm? How did the Count first get a hold, get hold of this thing anyway? Hmm. Is he one of the God Hand? By chance. By chance? Really? So the doctor replies to Guts, tells him that it's by chance that the Count ended up with a behelet wow he happened to buy it from a caravan of merchants that stopped by the castle one day even the merchants knew nothing about it all they said was that they found it in a town in a town bazaar somewhere to the east mm, so so guts is like by chance hmm so they lost it. <laughs> Somebody from the God Hand lost their their behelid. Uh, <laughs> so the doctor pulls out a map. It's like, look at this. It's a layout map of the castle. Okay. 
There's a secret passage used for escape from the castle that only a handful of people know about, besides the Count himself. If all goes well, you should be able to reach the inner compound undetected. I wish I could go with you, but with this body of mine, I'll only be an hindrance. Very true. Cause you're like a peg leg. You got you got no legs. So the doctor says, I beg you. For the past seven years, I've waited for this day. I've waited for the day that a man like you would appear. So you didn't even try. <laughs> the man was like, this man been sitting down these whole this whole time just waiting on some badass dude to come through town so he could say can you kill this dude for me please <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> so it's like you you are my only hope please avenge me guts could give a crap <laughs> about that <laughs> guts kicks him in the gut like don't Touch me. Oh my god. He kicks him away. You know, always Puck's got to chime in because he's like the. Puck is, Puck is like the bridge. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because Guts is just like. He's on a mission and give a shit about anything else. <laughs> so Puck chimes in. He's like, Guts. Shouts are like, Guts. Like he's telling him to stop. I was like, so the doctor is like, hey, no, Puck is saying that. Some of the times it's very hard to, to follow because the, um, what do you call these things again? I, I don't remember. The talking clouds <laughs> or, or whatever they call them. Sometimes you don't, you don't see immediately where the, which character they're pointing to. Um, so sometimes I really got to look. So that's why sometimes I get, I'm mistaken of who's talking or who says what sometimes. So, Hey, suppose that, Hey, what's the big deal? So it says, you make me sick. It's gut stalking. <laughs> Don't you ever touch me like that again. Understand? Have you seen yourself in the mirror lately? Man, Guts is a savage, but at the same time, I think, I, as I said in like, in my last reaction, um, my last read through, where I, where I was, uh, I think it was for, um, for chapter two, I was telling you guys that I just, I just feel like he uses this as a mechanic, mechanism to like, to be standoffish so that people do not get too friendly with him because he don't want to have to worry about other people. He just can't get rid of Puck. <laughs> you know, Puck just keeps coming and coming and coming. Like, he's insisting that they remain friends. Plus, he's probably bored. <laughs> you know, so he's like, you're the one who looks like a monster. At least make yourself a little more presentable. Puck is still trying to stop Gus. Like, listen, you. How come you're always picking on people like that? <laughs> And Guts just flicks him away. <laughs> okay. He's like, you jerk. It's okay. <laughs> so the doctor's like, it's okay. I don't mind. If only you kill the Count, I don't care what you say about me. I'm feeling sorry for him. Oh, fella. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Guts is thinking spineless bastard he doesn't really like people who don't stand up for themselves either so okay so guts puts his sword on his back um okay so he's like i won't avenge you but i'll kill him all the same shh quiet he must have heard he heard dude coming ah oh! what's this is like what's wrong Somebody smashed in. Ooh. Zondark is back with the Warhammer. <laughs> Zondark comes back with the Warhammer. He's like, I'm ready. I got some new powers. I got to level up. Not even human anymore. So he smashes into the basement. 
or the house, whatever, the doctor's house. Um, so everybody is like nut bussing except Guts. It's like, so Zondark is standing there. He's definitely different. So Guts seems like he notices something. So Puck is like, it's the guy from this afternoon. Guts is like, you again? Tough bastard, aren't you? Damn, he's not even saying anything. So he, he just starts swinging. He swings the Warhammer. Guts pulls his sword immediately. Pulls his sword immediately. Blocks the attack. Right? He blocked... Um, Guts blocks the attack here. Yeah, Puck is surprised. Is he overpowering Guts right now? So he like send Guts flying, bro. Looks like he went flying. Wow, this is a serious level up. What? Even Puck, Puck is surprised. Zondar got put in a snark. Got a snark on his face. He's like, yeah, I got you now. I got you now. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Knocked you on your ass, boy. <laughs> so. um, Guts comes back out. Guts tries to stand up. Look like he's having. He, he's holding his. He holds the brand. This is what I'm saying. Like, I don't understand. The brand, the brand started to bleed. Ah, uh, so, okay, so, that's what I'm saying, the brand is, from what I'm understanding, is like, it seems like the brand starts, starts to bleed when it's near spiritual energies, spiritual beings, whatever the situation is, I think somebody had said that in the last one, two, um, the, on, in the comment section, I think somebody did say that, so, shout out to you, um, now I get it. You're not even human anymore. Yeah. Not human anymore, buddy. So he's going in. So he's like got his mouth wide open. Going in for the kill. That's what he's doing. He's going in for the kill. Attacking him again. He's like, food. I'll hack you to pieces. Uh, and God seems like he's trying to get up. He's attacking. Um, Puck is like, Guts! Shouts out, Guts! I was like, Oh! What happened? What happened? Finish him. He took his arm off! <laughs> Too easy. Finish him. <laughs> Oh my god, it's too easy. He took his arm off. He took his arm off. One swing, took his arm off. He's like, you're not ready, bro. You're not ready. You think just because you got a power up, you got something? You ain't got nothing, homie. Took his arm off. Boom. So it's like, you got him. Okay, so he lost his... Wait a minute. Don't tell me he's he's got instant regeneration. No way. No way this guy has instant re regeneration right now. Like I'm No. No, that's unacceptable. He's got instant regeneration, bro. Come on. That's unfair. So he's like smiling. Guts is staring at him. And he just Whatever the hell that thing is, because that's not an arm. Um, so this the thing that's inside of him starts coming out of his arm, and he, sh damn, he's picking up the warhammer with that squiggly thing. He picks it up, swings it. Is he going to swing it? He's like, kill. Kill. Damn. 
So he's going in for the kill. <laughs> Puck is hiding in the, <laughs> in the skeleton. The the skull. Oh my god. Damn. He's what? Is guts guts is licking his lips. He's licking his lips. He's like, "Bro." Hold on a second. Did he Is he going to swing? Wait a minute. What did he just do? Is this a stance? Is this a new stance I'm seeing? Looks beastly. It's a new stance, it seems like. So, Gus goes into a stance. So, is, so Guts is looking at him. So, Zondark is like, I'll chop you into mincemeat. Yeah, you all talk, buddy. You are all talk. All talk. So we got. Um, okay. So Guts is watching him with one eye. And he, he looks like he's about to swing the Warhammer with his squiggly arm. <laughs> you know, that disgusting thing that came out of his arm. Okay, so I'm. All right. And we are back. Okay, so. Got. Guts in the stance. Ooh, ooh. He still ain't swung yet. This thing is all over the place. This squiggly thing went around Guts. Went around him. Above him. Now he's coming in for the chop. And Guts blocks it. He blocks it. And... It looks like it's pushing him back. Wow. It's actually pushing him back. Um, it's pushing him back. It's like until he hits, he hits the pole. So his back is against the, the, um, the pole right there. And he shatters the pole, bro. He hits it. He went through the pole. Right. So now it's like he's a he's attacking multiple times, and guts having to block all those attacks. It's tearing down the place. <laughs> the place is getting smashed up. Wood flying, every wood getting cut up, everything that whole place. So, oh, one of the one of the things fell on the doctor. Um, so Puck is asking him if he's okay. Hey, old fella, are you okay? He's like, hey, hey. More or less, but you're the one I'm worried about, little one. <laughs> like, um, thanks. Uh, it's like, yeek, yeek. Okay, so something fell beside him again, almost. It's like, what a horrible monster. God save us. <laughs> He's swinging. He's swinging that battle axe around like a whip. It's too fast for the human high to see. Okay. At this rate, we'll all be chopped to bits. But the thing is, what's the thing? Okay. It's too fast to see. But Guts is blocking every single blow. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's blocking everything. That panel we just passed up here. See, he's blocking all the attacks. Um, especially up here. If we go back a bit here. You'll see he's blocking all the attacks. So, he's not... I think that's the stance, man. I think it's because of that stance. Psh. Man, this dude is like, yo, bring it, bro. Bring it. Nay. So Guts looks like he take he gets a footing. Um, 
changes hold on the hilt or the sword, holds it upside down. Seems like he's going in. Ooh. Anytime you see the coat, you know you know what's gonna happen when the artist dry when when he draws the coat, the black coat, the majestic badass coat flashing ready for the whip. So he dodges the axe right over his head. Then we got that serious look on his face. And what He looks like he took the other arm. <laughs> he takes the other arm off. Takes the other arm off right here. Mm, he's chopping him limb from it. Are you going to grow stuff out of that arm too? Is that what we're doing? Ooh, he took a Fatality. Head off. Oh my God. <laughs> Down goes Zondark! Down goes Zondark! Oh my god! Took a piece of his head. Ooh! Ooh! That slash. Oh my god. Then. It's showing the, the brain meat. And he is still alive. He is still alive, bro. He is still alive. Still swinging the axe. Still swinging the axe, man. And Guts um, blocks it again. And says, Phew. or did he go down? Did he go down? <laughs> Look at their faces. They're like, oh. he's like, He's incredible. This <laughs> fucking like I always knew he was tough, but he seemed like he was just swinging his sword around wildly. But now I realize, oh, that he got skill. <laughs> he's a, he's a master swordsman. <laughs> he's beastly, bro. Like I'm never taking anything that he does as. You know what I'm saying? Like random. Like he was just swinging the sword because it's heavy and he just happens to do stuff. Like the fact that he can wield this big ass sword in the first place should tell you that he had some sort of sword skill. So that wasn't lost on me. So, okay. So he's, he ain't got no arms. Part of his head is missing. Puck is like, ew, half his head's chopped off and he's still, yeah, he's still alive. So, um, you're like, well done. So he's laughing. Something is growing out the side of his head. Black swordsman. Oh my God, it's disgusting. Coming out the side of his head. Comes up. Not bad, black swordsman, for a mortal, that is. So the demon is coming out to talk now. Gross. It's like, it's, it's the count. It's like, long time no see, Vargas. Mm. It's crazy. Okay. So the doctor rushes, picks up the, the behelot. So I'm guessing that the count saw it. I mean, like, so it is. It is you. Just you wait. After I take care of him, I'll be delighted to continue where we left off seven years ago. <laughs> Always an evil laugh behind stuff, <laughs> right? So he's there. Truly impressive. 
You've honed your strength and skill to the utmost. No, human, that is. Oh, oh, so there, this is the thing, like, the scrolling is going to kill me. So, he says, truly impressive. You've honed your skill and strength and skill to the utmost. Surely, no one can defeat you. No human, that is. <laughs> it's like, the fact, the fact that you're mortal is your downfall. Did he try to attack? Did he attack again? Seems like he did. And guts has to block. So they're coming in with the with the with the straight um, attacks again. He's attacking again. So he's like trying to get drop the whole building down. I'm guessing. So the the building is falling down. So he's just like, oh, I'm just going to kill everybody. So the doctor shouts out the guns like, hey, over here. He's like, hurry. Because the whole the building is collapsing. Okay. So they're out by the, I'm guessing they're coming out here. So he kicks the bars out, kicks one of the bars out. <laughs> it was like that's your idea of an escape route <laughs> it's the sewers oh god so they're wondering if he's dead I wonder if he's dead was was that the count nah it's not the count it was more like his daemon so more like his demon. Okay, so he can send his a part of himself into people, I guess. Okay. And it's like it was feeding off that guy up there in in total control of his mind and body. All that remained was his desire to kill. This is where we part. But before I go. There's something I want from you. The behelit. <laughs> Come on. Think of it as down payment for killing the count. That thing's no use to you anyway. Okay, so he takes it out. And Guts just grabs it. <laughs> Later. Hey, Guts. <laughs> Puck is Puck is always calling out to him like, hey. <laughs> so he like leave him like. So Puck is like telling him goodbye, old fella. Take care of yourself, okay. Uh, I will, and you take care of yourself too, little one. Okay, so good goodbye. Okay, like you're a good person, you know that. At first, I thought you were kind of creepy, as we all did, Puck. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. No go. Okay, so goodbye, 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 goodbye. Okay, so he turns back again. And says, um, one more thing. I think that that people need to keep living. Ah, oh, that's real. That's real, right there. Got a little too real, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Um, but that's true. I think people people need to keep fighting to live. You know what I'm saying. That's basically telling him don't worry about. What Gut said, you know what I'm saying? Just keep living no matter what. So, you see, I I don't really know much about life, but but living for the future is more important than trying to avenge the past, I guess. Uh, what am I saying? I guess I'm just mixed up. And doctor replies, no, you're right. Uh, so, so, Puck finally takes off. Like, uh, doctor says, uh, such a dear elf. Okay. Well, I can't just stand around here forever. Oh, no. No. Why we can't ever get a happy ending in this damn manga, man? 
Jeez, all the good people just just dies. Ah oh, man, comes out the water, wraps around the doctor. What well, can't be? He's still alive after all of that. Come on, man. Listen, guts. That's so rude. Just taking the behelot and walking off like that, at least you could have seen him off somewhere safe. What's the big idea? He saved you, you know. He showed you a secret passage into the castle too. He even gave you the behelot. I could have done those things myself. <laughs> Typical response, right? I could have done those things myself. Well, except for this, which is much appreciated, <laughs> right? So much that I would have taken it by force, if necessary. Puck is talking again, like both of you want to destroy the Count, right? Your allies, after all. <laughs> Guts is like, you're kidding me, right? Is like, uh, this is like allies, me and him. You're kidding me, right? Even when he begged me, I turned him down. That maggoty creep. <laughs> like, how could you? Hmm. I, I can't be bothered by some good for nothing bastard acting like we're friends. He'll end up dragging me down with him. <laughs> I like his attitude. His attitude stinks, though. <laughs> that goes for you, too. Bug. <laughs> oh, my God. Such a savage. But we all, I know he doesn't mean any of it. He really... He, could, he can't be like this. To the way how he acts and the things that he does, his actions is what speak for him. Every, pretty much everything, other than when he's explaining shit to people, or when he's talking to people, everything else that comes out of his a gut's mouth is bullshit. <laughs> In my opinion. So Okay, so we got uh Okay, so they're out here now. What is it? Another execution. Okay, so they're planning to execute another person again. So they're like questioning, they're like, is it true? Yes, but there was just one yesterday. I know, but they say it's a friend of that fellow who caused all the commotion at the execution grounds. Oh, so they're going to do the doctor? I hear it's supposed to be a warning to him. Oh, man. He literally just left. You see, you see the difference? And that's what I'm saying. Like, you see, this is his facial expression right here. This is what I'm saying. This says a lot more than the bullshit that comes out of his mouth. Like, this here, him hearing that, he knows who it is, right? He knows exactly who they're talking about and who it is. So, um, he, he, um, you know, Puck is trying to call out to him, telling him to wait. Okay, so he sits down to fix is crossbow okay puck is still trying to talk to him hey guts crying out guts hey guts hey guts guts hey guts meanwhile he's trying to clean his weapons and stuff um he's like okay i can take a hint all right then i won't ask you again And keep going. He's still cleaning his stuff. Took his false arm off. Well, what's the story behind him losing that arm? That would be interesting to know. Um, he sliced it. See, now he's remembering what the doctor told him. He sliced them up, chopped them up, and then ate them. So he's remembering 
before my eyes. He took my wife and my sons. He's remembering everything, man. I was, I was nothing but a prisoner of fear. Yeah, I remember all. Please avenge me. Yep. That's what I'm saying. His actions, his body language, everything about it says that he cares. He cares, but he, he, he wants to, he uses his words to make people a bit standoffish, to not like him, want to be beside him and stuff, because I think it's because he doesn't want anybody else to be in danger. You get what I'm saying? It's like he's on a path and he doesn't want a, a bunch of dudes to start following him because they think he's cool or something, or he saves a bunch of people and all of a sudden they want to be loyal to him and stuff like that. So I believe it's, as I said, he does feel, he does care and it's obvious. So what will he do? So he punches the wall when he remembers what the doctor was telling him. And now they're at the gallows. They're gathering at the gallows to kill the doctor, of course. So, the Count is sitting up there. He's like, we meet again, Vargas. <laughs> what has it been? Seven years now? <laughs> oh, ho. What are you glaring at? Okay, so the soldiers are saying, normally we need to give you a painstaking interrogation, but I've decided to get it over with and execute you right away. You should be grateful. Oh, that's not the soldiers. That's what I'm saying. The, the freaking talking bubbles, they're so weird sometimes because I, but the count is still talking here. Um, normally we need to give you a painstaking interrogation, but I've decided to get it over with and execute you right away. You should be grateful. So the old the old man doll, the priest or whatever, your majesty, the object you mention is nowhere to be found. Ah. <laughs> I see. So the black swordsman has it. So they're all over here. Puck is over there. It's like, oh fella. Oh, what to do? What to do? Okay, Guts. Ha <laughs> ha. So Guts is hiding in the shadows. He <laughs> Puck is so annoying, man. So he's like, I knew you'd come. There is some good in you. So what are you going to do? You better hurry up or the old fella's going to. You, you got it all wrong. Huh? I just came to watch. To watch him die. <laughs> Guts is a troll, man. He's such a troll, bro. Um, just like, look. In the shadows past the castle gate, it's a trap. As soon as I approach the execution stand, hundreds of troops will burst out. Uh, you think I'm so noble? That I'll just walk right into their trap. If you're so worried about it, why don't you save him? <laughs> uh, but I couldn't possibly do that alone. Then shut up. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. So Puck shuts up. The same goes for him. An average person, a misfit who can't even swing a sword. It's ridiculous for him to think he can defeat that monster. Huh? Ambition comes with a price attached. Of course, that price comes too high if you die for nothing. Not, not again like before, his emotions are Pouring into me. That's what I'm saying. A puck can feel his emotions, so he kind of knows what's the internal conflict of guts. The reward for ambition too great. For ambition too great is self destruction. Wow. Wow. That's a great line right there. That is a great 
lime. The reward for ambition too great is self-destruction. That is a great line. Who? Facts. <laughs> right? So, Puck is over here burning up. He burns dark and violent emotions, pounding into me, self-hating, destructive, burning like black mamba, manga, magma. <laughs> it's ma magma. Magma. Okay? Is this like is this is this the source of guts strength hmm okay you really gonna watch him die man it's like he should have known his limits a rat should live like a rat hmm it's like, Guts, are you afraid? Oh, he's challenging him, though. It's like, what are you talking about? And so Puck replies, the old fella. Fighting enemies he can't possibly defeat. You're afraid of him, aren't you? Hmm. Yeah, you are afraid. Afraid to admit that you're also fighting a losing battle. You don't want to admit that you're just like him. Ooh, Puck hitting him with them hard words, though. Puck hitting him with them hard words. Hmm. It's like. Bah. <laughs> He's like. Come on, bro. <laughs> it's like. So. It's like, well, well then, why do you come here? If, okay, so, if you really didn't care, you wouldn't be here at all. If you hated the old fella that much, that's what I'm saying. If you don't care at all, why come at all? You know what I'm saying? Why even come to watch him die? If you don't care, and that's what I'm saying, it's, it's pretty obvious in the panels that we saw before, Guts actually cares. He just acts like he don't to you know build up this ridiculous invisible wall for people not to pry too much you know what i mean you talk too much you know that where does an elf like you get off talking talking like a human ah uh, puck is crying ah uh. Ah, he bites God's hand. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yeah, you. Oh, he's ready to fight. He's like, you big ass, 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 <laughs> selfish bastard, chicken. <laughs> His guts chasing him. You little brat. Damn bug. Should I feel? compassion you do feel compassion not should you feel you gotta be kidding me <laughs> okay so they're about to cut old dudes um what's his name oh my god bass I, I can't remember his name guys um i can't remember his name uh the, the old dude I refer to him as the old, the old dude, or the um, or the the former doctor, the f the physician, the cast of I can't remember his name. Um. So. So she's like, my head is splitting, fear, anger, sadness, guilt. She can um, he can feel a lot um other people's feelings, so. The hysteria of hundreds of people swirling around inside of me. Ah, oh, man, that's going to be sad if the old dude dies like this. Oh, fella. Oh, Puck is actually considering going in. So they're about to cut his head off. And Puck is like, should I? He's still crying. And he takes off. What are you going to do, Puck? 
Are you serious? He takes off over there. And then um Guts is like that idiot. Um the doc doctor sees Puck, like that little fellow, he's just head first going in and don't care what happens. Hit the axe, knocks himself out. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Knocks himself out like a little elf could have done anything. Uh, falls into the executioner's hand. Guts is like, ah, oh, stupid. <laughs> so it's like, so the, the count is saying, what are you doing? Get on with it. Yes, sir. It's a shame. So the doctor now is talking to the Count. It's a shame. The Count says, what's that supposed to mean? That I won't be around to enjoy the sight of you choking in your own blood. <laughs> yeah, you got some final words for you, boy. It's like, the death will be paying you a visit soon enough along with the hundreds of victims you've killed who will drag you down to hell with them. <laughs> like, nonsense. Finish him off. It's like, Black Swordsman, I beg of you, hold up this devil's severed head before us once and for all. Hold it up before us. And he's dead. <laughs> Executioner takes his head. Wow. People just standing there. Guts walks away. Damn, he's feeling it, man. That's the thing that I love about his character. Is so not. It's not so one-dimensional. As in, oh, he doesn't. He he doesn't care, and it's just he doesn't care. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's so obvious that they're, they're trying to, um, so far in the manga, they're trying to build his character as um, not necessarily an a anti-hero or a vigilante in, in the sense of, you know, the people are not going to like him, whatever the situation is. It's just that we all know from seeing this stuff when he's by himself that he shows this compassion because essentially you're human. You're human. And you've seen him save. You've seen him when he cuts the um the girl when he had to cut the girl down that was that was dead and brought back to life. Right? You saw, you know, he grimaced. He didn't want to do it. He hesitated and let her stab him too. So he cares. He cares. Okay. So we're gonna pause here, and we'll pick it back up. All right, we are back. Let's get it. Is gun. So his brand started acting up again. The brand on his neck started acting up again. Okay. Okay, so this thing was still down here somewhere. I'm guessing this is the one that came out of um Zandark, whatever his name is. So, he, so God sees it like you again. Well, why does he have the head of the doctor? This is so weird and <laughs> creepy. Oh, ah! Is this just his head messing him? In? And that the saying, like, hold up his severed head before us. That's ringing in his head now. Okay, so. So the count is like, didn't show up after all, did you? Black swordsman. Well done. Or maybe. Maybe what? So who is this girl now? Looking out the window. Okay. 
we are very close to the end. We're at page 113. I'm, I'm, we're at page 113 right now. I don't know how much is left at, in actually because I don't know if this the page counter is um the same or what. Yeah, but yeah. So we're outside of some city. I don't know if it's the same city. Okay. Seems like outside the same city. Damn, how come we got to do this crap? Not that I care, but the corpses are practically pouring out of this pit. Okay, so these are, I'm guessing that these are all the people that are being executed. So they're like, there's a mass grave outside the city that they keep, that the soldiers keep putting these bodies in. So it looks like they're adding the doctors to the count. Okay, so forget about it. What a fool, thinking he could take on the count. It's like looking at <laughs> disgusting. It's like, go. Yeah. Let's finish our work and get out of here. Damn, and God shows up. Mm, you're about to get it. So Guts takes out the two guys that's over there, and he takes the head. Look, the look in your eyes, filled with vengeance. Mm. I won't fail like you. Mm. And look at this. The brand again starts going off. What? Give it back to me. I'm in pain. Pain, I want my head back. I can't see. My eyes. This, this is all the emotions coming from the bodies. The mass grave that's there, I'm guessing. So they all come in. They're all headless. His head. We want the Count's head. And they're all like generating their feelings towards him. I don't think there's. It's like the spirits are there. Like, we want revenge together. Revenge, revenge. These are all the spirits, like, reaching out to him. No! Together! Revenge! No! <laughs> What's going on with Guts? <laughs> He's losing his freaking mind, bro. So he says no, and all the spirits just left him alone. Okay. It's tiresome. Must be. All those spirits depending on you, it must be tiring, man. It's like, never! You and I got nothing in common. You're dead. All of you. You're nothing but worthless scum. Get away from me, carcasses. This is my fight. Mine. A person of flesh and blood. That's right. I'll do it myself. I'll kill the Count with my very own flesh and blood. Okay, so that's the end. Puck. I'm guessing that was that's the end of it. I don't know. Um, so Puck is hovering over the city, it seems. Um, this is. Oh, we're not there yet. Okay, so we're at chapter three now. We're at chapter three. Is this a joke? This must be a joke, right? Okay, so we have the the count is in here. Oh, they captured Puck. Oh my god, old fella. They have Puck in custody. He's regretting stuff. He's like, I couldn't do any do a thing to save you. Not a single thing what's gonna happen to me now okay <laughs> sees cake and what's cake huh oh uh, that's what we're doing all right so we got who is this lady father what father still awake Th Theresia? What a name. Theresia. Father. 
Uh, yeah, my reaction exactly, father. What is it, father? Why are you coming to see me so late? Hmm. I just have a little something for you. Oh, it's a uh, an elf. Is it real? Well, do you like it? Yes. Thank you, father. Are you lonely here, Theresia? It's like, be patient, my dear. I couldn't possibly let you out into the impure world, overrun by filthy heretics. Theresia. You're the only... Oh, he tries to touch her, and she's like backing up. Like, ah, she's backing up. She's like, I know what you are, bitch. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> it's like, you're still won't let me touch you? Of course not. <laughs> okay. So be it. It's getting late. Good night. Father. He's like, hmm? Nothing. Forget it. He looks disappointed. Excellency! <laughs> Go away. Leave me be. Well, you ain't got the love of your daughter. Theresia! No, why don't you love me? Alas! Okay, damn. Punch the table. He is calm. Okay, so he must, he, he sensed him. Saying, hmm, what's going on? Damn, Brand man. Anytime the freaking, anytime he's close to s spirits and stuff, that Brand just starts hurting. It's like, you're a stubborn bastard, you know that? So he's like, I've been waiting for you, black swordsman. Is this freaking Xandark oh, again? Oh, Here my we go God. again. And now we, ah, uh, he's just disgusting at this point. He's just a demon of demons. Like, you're much prettier than the last time I saw you. <laughs> Solarius, no more games. This time, there's nowhere to run. So is he going to transform fully into... So he's like laughing. <laughs> uh, oh, pulls out the crossbow. Let's go. Oh, I'm ready to give you these arrows, bitch. I'm ready to give you these arrows. Are you ready for these arrows in your dome? Oh my god, he loads him up. Loads him up with ha with arrows. Boom. Comes back again. He's You ain't ready for these for these arrows and the uh, Them arrows pierce, pierce armor. That simply means that they got to be some special type of arrows. I was like, what? He loads him up with arrows, puts a second barrel in him, in his head, in his mouth, everything. So he like he attacks. He attacks guts right there. Chopping up all the wood and all of this other stuff. He goes in for the chop while guts was reloading. And he attacks him again. But now Guts is about to pull. Any anytime Guts is about to pull that sword, man. You know somebody's about to get worked. So he pulls he pulls the sword. Right? He pulls the sword. 
and he's walking up to him, it seems. Oh, he swings it. Oh, look at that. This art, man. Sometimes you really got to look carefully to, to know what you're seeing. He blacked out his face right here. You know he means business, right? He's vicious right now. All right? He swings the sword. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Some mean chop, bro. Mean chop across the chest. Even took out the, the, the thing they're standing on. Oh my god. What else did he get though? Did he chop his whole body off? That's what I want to know. It looks like he chopped this whole side off. Because this is the part that's falling. So he falls off the stairs. Falls off the stairs. Are these stairs though? Looks like stairs. He falls down. Right? Guts is looking at him like, are you, <laughs> you should be dead now, <laughs> tired of you, so he, okay, shoots his sword, look like he's about to attack Guts again, wait a second, he got, he didn't expect it, he got him, he got Guts in the back, he got him, see, he gets attacked, Yo, this dude does not die. Bro. Look at this. It's futile. No matter how much you chop me up, no matter how much you hack up this possessed body, I'll just keep on regenerating myself. That's what I'm saying, man. That's, oh my God. Unless you cut off my head over and over and over and over again. Bruh. He just stabs. Finish him. He stabs the demon in the head. That should do it. That must do it. That should do it. I hopefully that that does it. So he's like, so he chops him. Hmm. So he's he chops. Did he get the main head though? Cause I think the main head might be the weakness. He chops him in in the main head. It seems. Did that do it? It is like thanks for the tip. <laughs> he takes the head off. It falls. It falls. No, it's on top of the sword. But it's still attacking. What? It's still attacking. And he, he grabs onto the sword and says, now I'll feed off your body. So Gut steps up, swings the sword again. Well, is he going to slam it against the wall? <laughs> Fatality. I knew it, man. He slams him against the wall. Oh, splash. <laughs> oh, my God. Slams him against the wall. It's like, bruh, you going to feed on what body? That should do it. Splattered it against the wall. Mm, that should do it. It's like, don't think it's over yet. I'll be waiting for you upstairs oh god he's still and that still ain't the main one too so it's like oh my god what is this dude going to be like you know what i mean it's still like what is he going to be like it's crazy so he's losing a lot of blood because of that hit it's like oh damn lost too much blood so he's like falling over and he's like conviction it's like, I can't give up. It's like, just wait and see. 
I'll skewer you. I'll skewer your damn head on my blade of steel. Okay, so we got a conversation in here with Puck and um, Puck and whatever her name is. <laughs> this girl here, the Count's daughter. Ah, I'm not very tasty. Elves aren't very good for your digestion, you know, not to mention we're high in calories. So, she, so he thinks he's going <laughs> to he thinks that she's going to eat him. She's like, I won't hurt you. You can come out. I know what it feels like to be locked up in a cage. You're just saying that now so you can eat me alive when I come out. Um, she could just reach in there and grab you, Puck. <laughs> like, I understand why you don't trust me. I'm his daughter after all. Father's a different person since that day. Puck is like, that day? That day Martyr died seven years ago. I was just a baby then, so I don't remember anything, but this is what Father told me. In those days, there was a sect of heretics at large who opposed my father. One day, they kidnapped Mother and threatened to kill her if Father didn't let them practice their pagan worship freely. Father, of course, couldn't allow that without permission from the king, so he refused their demands. As they carried out their threat, Father, of course, couldn't allow that without permission from the king, so he refused their demands. And they carried out their threat. They killed Mother. Okay. Mm. Mother was sacrificed alive as an offering to their evil god. Oh, my God. Father was a great ruler. He may have been harsh, but that was so he could defend his kingdom against neighboring enemies. He was trusted and loved by all, even as a father. Wow. So he was a good, kind of good, I guess. Um, good writing always make you sympathize with um, villains, uh, and I like that. But, but father changed. Like a man possessed, he started hunting down heretics. So he does have something against heretics. But he was just, but at some point he became like just killing everybody and eating them. So now it doesn't even make a difference anymore whether they're heretics or not, right? It's almost as if he enjoys hurting people. Theresia, he's like, I'm scared. Sometimes I feel almost as if he's not human anymore. That's because he's not. But I guess she hasn't seen his demon side, prop probably. So something is going on in the halls. Strangely humid tonight. Soldiers are talking. On a night like this, we should just take off. Hey, don't joke like that. At this castle, that's not even funny. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? Over there. Oh, <gasps> the black swordsman is here. Looking vicious. Mm, like, who goes there? What happened? Why does it look like they're already dead? What is this? What is this? Why does it look like they already got arrows to the face? Yeah, it is. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this is arrows to the face or whatever the hell he threw at them. They're down already. He just walks past them like a boss. He's going up the stairs, gets to the hall. Soldiers greet him in the hall. I was like, we, we knew you would be coming as we knew you were in league with Vargas. Oh, that's his name. Vargas. Vargas was the, with, with the, oh, the doctor's name. Okay. We got this. It's as far as you go. Surrender quietly. 
Guts is like, move, or I'll have you killed. Oh, that's the priest still talking. Surrender quietly, or I'll have you killed at once. Okay. Okay, so... Guts is serious. Like, you're in my way. Move. Fool, you think you can take on 50 troops yourself? Archers! Fire at will! So they fired arrows, and Guts blocks them like it's nothing. And... And swings the sword. <laughs> he swings the sword and cuts through five dudes. Bruh. He blocks the attack and then strikes with the vengeance. Look at this. Boom. One. Bro, he's taking he heads. He's taking heads and hands, bro. Look at that. Clean. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's like, what are you waiting for? Attack. So they all come out, start attacking. You already know. Heads are flying. Torsos are flying. People getting sliced in half <laughs> from from head. Oh my god, right through how why would you come on, what are you doing? Jericho Oh god, not another not another cheap dude. You know what happened to Zandark man. He's like get him, you always brag about being stronger than Z Zondark. <laughs> Show us your strength now. Oh my. Bro. One. Hand. One hand. One hand. It's one. No. It's both his hands. <laughs> Confusing myself because I didn't see that other hand. Bro, but still. But still, man. I thought it was one hand here, but I didn't see it. After looking. After looking right here, you see. His other hand is on his I thought he hit him with one hand, bro. Bro, look at this. That thing is gonna tear through his armor like it's like it's nothing. Broke the shield. Broke the shield and it ah oh man. It didn't go through though, but he coming for the second swing. What are you gonna do? He blocked again with the shield. Bruh. Do you see this? He got sliced in half. He got sliced in half, bro. Look at that. Right through him. Look at this. Shattered the pillar behind him and everything. Bro, what is this, man? This is not a sword, bro. This is not a sword. That's not a sword, man. That's crazy. That's a crazy sword, man. That is a... Cr that's, that's got to go down. This has got to go down as one of the most legendary swords in manga history. Because I've never seen anything like this. The, the the last time I've seen a sword this big and to do this kind of damage was, um, what's his name again? Dude from Final Fantasy. Lightning? Is that his name? I, is that his name? You guys must know who I'm talking about. I think, I think it's Lightning is his name. Um, I don't remember exactly. It's been a while. Um, he's from Final Fantasy 7. I can't remember his name, man. But he, the one that had that big sword. <sighs> Look at this, man. <sighs> and his body just falls to the ground. His whole torso just falls to the ground. Like, 
yo, yo, we bouncing, bro. We out of here. It's like, wait, where do you think you're going, fools? I'm warning you, come back. No, nah, them dudes dipping, bro. If it was me, I would have been dipped. I would have been dipped, bro. Standing over the breeze. So I guess we're back in the castle again with Puck and the, the um, I forgot, forgot her name. I think Theresia. That's her name, <laughs> Theresia. I'm sorry about what? I couldn't stop myself from crying. It's been so long since I've talked to anyone. Puck is like, no problem. I lend you my soldier. <laughs> Do you have a name? The name's Puck. Tell me, Puck. You fly, don't you? Hey, what does it feel like to fly? What's it like? Mm, normal, I guess. The same as for birds or bugs. Well, I guess it's a bit easier than walking. I mean, half of it is just up to the wind. Hmm. It's just an everyday thing for you hells, isn't it? Well, yeah, they're born with wings. So I would think it's an everyday thing. Theresia, you haven't been in here all this time, have you, for seven years? Father doesn't let me leave this room. He thinks there are still heretics lurking about the city even now. He won't let anyone from the city or anyone even remotely connected to the city near me. This is my world. Outside this window, my little piece of sky. Like such sober eyes, not the eyes of a child. Okay. So she's asking, what's going on? Yep. What is it? It's a burglar intruder in the inner compound. <laughs> Good, Theresia. I've got to go. But that burglar they're talking about, uh, it's someone I know. Theresia is like, you can't go. It's too dangerous. I'll be all right. I'm pretty quick. So Puck says, but don't worry, don't worry. Seen my share of battles I have. And she just screams out, no! He's like, ah, I'm sorry. Yeah, she is nuts. She's been locked up for seven years. She is nuts, okay? Okay, it's natural that you would worry about your friend. Well, he's not exactly my friend. Ah, he's like, go on then. Theresia, I told you I knew what it felt like to be locked up in a cage, didn't I? That's because I am. Well, okay, see ya. So Puck takes off to go help Guts. Uh, to help Guts, okay. So... He comes back, knocks on the window. <laughs> He's like, what is it? He's like, something I forgot to say. I'll be back to see you later. <laughs> ah, that's nice. Okay. And then I'll take you out of here. Huh? Alrighty then. See you soon. Alright, so for so long now I've even given up even dreaming about it. To actually leave this room. To go outside for revenge on the heretics who robbed him of the woman he loved is that why the count acquired demonic powers okay that's puck talking to himself he summoned the god hand and he himself became a demon okay so damn guts Kicks the priest, kicks the priest down, comes back again, and he's like, Ugh, uh, hmm, this fight is gonna be epic. All right, we're gonna take a little break here, come back for the next part. We've been going for an hour and a half now, and we are back. Woo. Mm, 
he's ready for anything right now. So he gets, he's going into the castle. He's like, impressive that you made it this far. Well done, black swordsman. Come now and test me. Let's see just how far human power will go. He steps up. He steps up all the steps, goes in for the kill, stabs him, but he looks like he transforms, but he got he got the hidden though. Look like he's transforming. Oh, oh, it was something else came from under the ground. I thought it was him, but he's sitting in the chair. So as Guts was walking up the steps, as he's walking up the steps, he stabs, dude. He stabs something that tried to get out of the ground, stabs it, looks like he kills it. And the count says, nicely countered. Or maybe it's a part of him. A smaller part of him under there. Man, this dude is... He's big. He's big. Yeah, it's a part of him. Damn, bro. It's like, I now grasp the extent of your skills. It seems that... I, too, must take this fight a little more seriously. <laughs> it was like, whoops, I flew out all right, but I forgot to ask where the Count's quarters are. <laughs> like, what? So Puck is trying to get in the castle, saw something blow out. He's just going in, following it. What is that? Part of the count in him. He's big, man. That's what I'm saying. He's going to be some huge, fat, gluttonous looking, ugly thing. Anytime, anytime, um, gut sees their, their, like, their final form, he's always, like, smiling. It's like, oh, shit. Here we go again. He comes out, he's like, I crush you. Yeah, he's big. He's big. <laughs> yep. He's big, all right. He's and ugly. I got way too many eyes. I don't know what the hell that is or what you're supposed to call that mount, that monster. But they always have these creepy ass faces. It's just so weird how they just the faces of the of the the demons. I just don't like how they look, man. Like they they be having t this one has two mounts. The last one had what? two heads i think the um the baron i think the baron had um i didn't like the head design it was like a head in like a snake's head it was just weird it just looked weird okay so guts pull swings the sword took takes something off um attacks <laughs> it was like bruh dude i'm regenerating out here you you know what time it is we regener we got that regeneration, man. So it's like now you understand. It's futile. No matter how many times you chop off my arms and leg, it grows bigger and bigger. Each time you cut them off, my body becomes stronger. A mere sword can't possibly destroy me. Unless he cuts your head off like the other one. Okay. But he's huge, man. Look at him. Oh my god. And disgusting, right? It's causing causing the castle to to fall apart. She's in her room. Um, rubble start falling, almost hits her. And so she's like, "Oh, the door! The door cracked open." So I'm guessing she, she's gonna try to walk through the door. Um, gets outside. Did she get outside? No, she did not get outside. She stayed in the room. So she was having second thoughts about getting out. And then she remembered Puck. And did she decide to walk out? Yep, she walked out like a boss. 
She's like, that's me. <laughs> All right. So we got. So he help. Um, Puck gets in. It look like he Gus don't know what's happening right now. So he, he's just diving out of the way as the attacks come. Um, he's sliding. Cause he's destroying the whole place, man. It's like, where are you? He's hiding. <laughs> what happened to that vigorous onslaught of yours? Did you finally realize that you have no chance of winning and decide to run away? What's going on? This can't be happening. Well, now where are you, black swordsman? Ah, uh, oh, he sees Puck. I mean, the Count sees Puck. He goes out, go after. Oh my God, he's just. Ugh. I like the details on the drawing though. He's like guts behind you. Ah oh, man, he took out the pillar that he was hiding behind. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That was sauce. That was sauce. He tricked him into believing. He put his coat on the priest. He put his coat on the priest, bruh, and let him hide. And so he attacked the, pr the priest, thinking it was Guts. So now the priest is dead. With his eyeball. <laughs> his eyeball coming out the socket. And, and Guts seems like he's about to attack from the side. He's going in with the serious face. Ooh, what did he get? All he got was a, one of the eye things. That's it. All he got. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's all he got. He like got one of them, them tentacles on on his cheek, and the one on his head too. So it's like, damn, just a surface wound, wound, just a surface wound. He's screaming out. Oh, he gets an attack on. On guts, hits him, hits him into a wall, spewing up blood, spewing up blood. He mad. So why don't you just grow your horns back or whatever the hell, the tentacles back? You have instant regeneration, right? Now he's kicking, <laughs> he's kicking guts ass right now. So it looks like. It looks like um, he got attacked again. He's spewing up blood. Yeah, the priest is dead. It's like, you rogue. You set a decoy and aim for my head at the spur of the moment. Indeed, your quick wits show that you're a first-rate warrior. But in the end, that's just a human technique. It's irrational to think that you can defeat me. I... Who am beyond human? The brand on your neck. Impossible to think that someone can survive with that brand carved into their flesh. Hmm. Revenge, is that it? But of course you'll never win. A mere mortal like yourself. Man, you're talking a lot of shit right now. <laughs> you see, you can't even stand up after a single strike from me. It's not worth being constantly hounded by demons chopped to pieces there's no need for you to continue your war of pain and fear that's right it's a meaningless fight you should put an end to it now i will release you from your suffering hmm. i will dispatch you once and for all back to where you belong your final resting place in hell it was already preordained the moment the brand was carved into your neck oh damn what is this brand, man? I want to know more about this brand because it's interesting. It, it's like he made a pact with the devil or maybe it was unwillingly done to him. I don't know. So divine providence cannot be thwarted by man's efforts. You can die proudly now, knowing that at least you inflicted one blow upon me. 
So Puck screams out, look out. Damn, he attacks Guts again. Ready? He, he attacks Guts again. Hits him again. Hits him over again. Oh my god. He grabs his leg with one of the tentacles. And swings him. He's not letting go of the sword though. Damn, he's swinging him around. Ooh. Swinging him around. And he's holding Guts upside down like... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's still holding on to the sword. He's like, ha, ah, still won't part with your sword, I see. Hmm. So he... Damn, he throws him into another, like, pillar or wall. Ah, man, how is he surviving this, bro? No way. He ain't no mere human, man. There's something going on here, man. I don't know you guys know what's going on. I know you're not going to tell me because you don't want to spoil But there's something about this guy, man. How is he withstanding these attacks? It's... You know what I'm saying? How is he withstanding these attacks, man? I don't know. It's like... <laughs> to be... To be content... Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> oh, my God. It was getting so good. Oh, my God. Two hours in, man. Well, not yet. Hour. Maybe hour and 40 minutes, man. That's crazy. That's nuts. That those two chapters was straight fire. Was straight fire without a conclusion. So now I gotta wait on the next volume. Of course, they leave the volume again on a cliffhanger. So next time. Tune in next time. On Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, on Berserk. Yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed that reaction, man. I'm about to go do the review, of course. Um, thank you guys for tuning in, man. Hope you guys stuck around and watched the whole thing. Hopefully, I can get this out. I didn't know that it, it was going to take me this long to react to these two chapters. Um, but it was a lot of pages, man. It was a lot of pages, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um, um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm going to try to do as much sound effects that I can to not make this a, you know, too much of a off a board i know you guys have seen it already so you know what to expect and the parts that you're waiting for me to react to and stuff like that but man he is getting that work right now <laughs> he is being worked right now and i'm digging it i'm definitely digging it um because it doesn't make him seem invincible so i like that so i'm gonna go do the review hope you guys stay tuned man hope you guys enjoyed the um the reaction full reaction whatever wherever you watching this i will see you guys for the review <sighs> all right so i just finished watching not watching reading through chapters what is it chapter chapter four and five I, i'm not even sure but it's volume um let me see here let me make sure of what it is it's I know it's volume two. Chapters two and three of the Guardians of Desire arc. Okay, so this is not necessarily chapter. I think I think um, there's a certain amount of chapters in each volume. Um, so it's not necessarily like it's going to be volume four, volume five. It's going to be like volume two. Um, volume two what am i saying it's like it's weird how they set it up so i don't want to I, I the thing about it is like um the last one that i did that i named chapter three was actually the guardians of desire chapter one so the two that i just reacted to is the guardians of desire chapter two and three okay so yeah so now i as I get the groove, I will start to understand it. But yes, let's re these two chapters was really good, man. Was really good. Learning more about 
you know, what the behel it is. And, you know, as in, you know, as in regards um, to what it does, it's like a portal. Okay. It's like a portal. Um, as I do, as, as I do this stuff, I, I will go back and check to make sure I'm saying the right things. Okay. So. Okay. So, um, yeah, so I'm checking to see, um, just give me a minute here. It's a review. Okay. So I can always cut out this part that I'm looking up stuff. Yes. So it has to do the behelet has to do with the um the five members of the God Hand. I don't know if we've met any of these guys before. I don't know if the Baron was a was a was a member of the God Hand. I don't know. I'm not a hundred percent on that. Um I don't know if this guy, the count, is a member of the God Hand. It seems like the behelet has the power to turn regular humans into demons, but maybe it has to have a pack. There's a shadow, right? There's a shadow right here as you can, uh, oh, wrong thing. <laughs> There's a shadow right here as you can see. The shadows, this is the five members of the God Hand, right? This is what it looks like. So, or the imagery that they're trying to give us of what they could possibly look like. The five members of the God Hand, right? So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I don't want to speculate anything. But that's what the behelith is all about. So, question in, the, the, the question is really, you know, I'm pretty sure we're going to learn more about this in the future. About these characters or who they are, who the God Hand is and all this other stuff. Why is he hunting them? You know? So, I mean... It's crazy how the story is playing out. I don't want to go through the. I don't want to go through the story, um, piece by piece. But I'm just gonna hit some, 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 um, some of the spots, the highlights of of this read through. Um, we got, um, Zondark, you know, waking up. He's mad. Um, the Count gives him new abilities through putting one of his demon inside of him he went back after um broke into the to the basement where they where they were attacked got his ass whooped again <laughs> you know i mean and that what that fight was epic i would love to see that fight in in, in anime if possible because i know it was it would have been it must have been awesome i would love to see these two fights i think it's a i think so far in at in the anime is the best two that I've seen the one against Zondark and the one against the count that's currently going on right now. So this is crazy. This is crazy. I love it. I love it. I can't, I, 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 I can't say anything bad happened in these two chapters that I didn't agree with. Great story development. The, the introduction of the daughter is pretty cool. Um, you know, them giving us the backstory about the count too of why he turned evil how he was consumed because that's the thing you know that's the thing what people think that you know when they when they quote unquote make a pact with with the devil they think that oh it's just for a period of time but they don't understand that once you gone over to the other side that's it for you it's going to consume you if you let anger seep in too much if you do not you know, it's the same thing. It's just like if you let a certain emotion um, stay within you for too long, it will become you. That's who you'll become. You'll just be an angry person all the time. I've seen it happen. I've seen people who are like that and eventually they go crazy. Eventually they lose their mind because, you know what I'm saying? It's like your thinking is not, they, they, they lose every ounce of rational think, thinking. You know, so everything is about anger. Well, I'm angry at this person. I'm angry at that person. I'm angry at everybody, even you. So anger is something that can really consume you. 
And I think that's what happened with the Count after they killed his wife. The heretics killed his wife. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I'm guessing he got to be healed and, you know, felt what it's like to have, you know, power, strength, unbelievably strength, even though he became a human or whatever. Whatever pact he made with the five members of the God Hand or the God Hand or whatever the situation is with that, whatever he did, it's obvious that it consumed him over time and it changed him, right, because of that. And that's the thing Well, where, where you have people even until even in this day still do stuff like this like they do make these packs with evil spirits and stuff like that it, it happens today in the real world you know what i'm saying um a lot of us may not believe in spirits but i do so it's it's um i do believe that there is a evil plane out there that we can't vi see with our own eyes i do i believe in that so um and i'm not I'm not, I don't think I'm stupid for believing in that. I don't believe that. I don't believe in ghosts, but I do believe that there's there's evil around us, evil energy. You get what I'm saying? I believe that stuff like that can consume you and take over. And I know people, you're probably gonna laugh at me or whatever, but this is what I believe in. You know, it has nothing to do with you. You can disagree. You don't have to be, believe that there is a spiritual realm, but I do believe that there's things out there that we that we can't see that we don't necessarily understand i'm not saying i'm not talking about like oh haunted houses and stuff like that like people dying and their spirit is still wandering around like that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about like demonic spirit i believe that there's evil forces out there that can influence you know things you get what i'm saying so um, you may not understand because I'm not going to go into depth about it, but this is just my belief. You know what I'm saying? I grew up Christian, so those things are kind of like, and I've seen it for myself and I don't, I don't want to get religious. So let's keep it, keep, keep, keep it simple. Cause I'm, I'm not really, uh, uh, a religious guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really a, a super religious guy. Like I'm not here to preach to anybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going <laughs> to, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Yes, and Berserk is awesome. Yes, and it is. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. So, um, but anger is something that can consume a person to insanity because I've seen it happen with my own very eyes. So, I think that's what happened to the Count, you know, losing his wife, you know, desperate to kill but don't know how to go about the killing so he made a pact with the devil man he made a pact with the devil with the god hand whatever um so he got these powers and now you know he got so consumed by it he started killing innocent people so you know his daughter is extremely afraid of him especially the fact that he locked her up in the room <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With armed guards at the door and stuff like that. It's like, oh, I'm protecting you. But you're protecting me, but you locked me in a room, like, for seven years? Like, that, no. That makes no sense. I'm a prisoner. I'm. You're not protecting me. I'm your prisoner, man. So I understand why she's so standoffish with him. Um, Puck having some real great moments in these two chapters that I loved. Um, him realizing that, um, that Guts actually cares and a lot of character development happened in these two chapters that I really like, man. The character development is really solid so far and I love it. Um, so that's really, that's really it. You know, the battles that are going on right now, pre I mean, the moments, the doctor getting beheaded and the stuff he said to Guts, um, before he got beheaded was great. It really moved him. It moved him. And he, un he, he kind of understood that he had a responsibility now to avenge this doctor. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I don't know what he's up to with the behelith. I don't know if it's going to come into play into this fight. I, I really do. I feel like it's going to come into play into this fight that he's having right now with the count so that is yet to be seen hopefully 
next read through we will have that conclusion but that's really the the hot points man the great things about this um this manga so far is that it is well drawn man but sometimes i do miss with the speech the speech bubbles the speech bubbles kind of get me sometimes because the arrow that points to the character that's speaking sometimes it's not very visible so i don't sometimes i don't really know exactly who's talking on the panel sometimes sometimes i get a little confused so as to uh, um you guys have said that i'm having trouble reading the panel in the right in the right order um i know that it's structured from right to left at least my right right my right to left that's how you know instead of us like us english speakers stuff like that in the western world we read left to right the japanese they read right to left so i i know that because i've read mangas in the past so i'm guessing it's the same um but i do notice that there's some some of them is a little bit weird how how they set up the panel so i gotta be careful of that so this was very good man this one was very good um so all in all the character development is what is really grabbing me right now because I'm I'm watching and you can see that sometimes because sometimes I catch myself getting too mesmerized by what is happening the drawing and stuff because I, I I do that myself like I get very drawn into stuff that I read and stuff and stuff that I watch I get very drawn in like it's like I it's like I feel like I'm I'm a part of that world like I feel like I'm there and if it's if it's really good and well done like I really get drawn into the world so sometimes I lose myself and sometimes I might start mumbling and stuff like that and I have to catch myself and say hey you're doing you're doing a read through you got to continue reading I get so immersed in these things man because it's such an enjoyable experience to do this with you guys you know what I'm saying so um I was like this before and now it's even worse because now I'm doing it for an audience um so it's like I really get immersed into the world um and I'm trying to do voices and stuff like that. I'm just trying to make it as entertaining as possible for you guys to enjoy. Because if you're going to sit here for an hour and a half and watch me read something, I have to make it some sort of entertainment as to be there. Because I know nobody wants to do that for an hour and a half with zero laughs or, you know, all serious and stuff like that. You'll just become a bore. But if you stay here with me, I promise you guys that this will have a significant improvement as we go forward so uh, as you can see from where I when i started this channel to where i am now as in my my presentation and everything it has gone up plenty of notches plenty of notches that continue to improve making the videos better making sure that you guys have quality videos um as in my consistency with how i speak and everything way up way up even though i do you, you you know it's a it's a different thing sitting in front of a camera talking to talking to no one <laughs> you know what i'm saying live you know what i mean like when i'm live it's totally different from when i'm sitting in front of a camera like first it was a little bit nerve-wracking um because i was doing it like every day every day every day every day every day every day but um but as soon as i got used to it you know i feel a lot more um freedom to be a little bit more of myself every day so now we're here so um hope you guys enjoyed the read through man thank you guys for supporting you know i know probably when you watch these read throughs you, you're probably gonna be like i can't do all of this at once but you guys said i should do volumes by volume so that's what i'm trying to do because now that game of thrones is over i have more time to do it now on sunday so i can't I'm not going to shortchange it anymore. Like if if it's a lot, I'll try to get through it. Right. I have more time because by this time I would be getting ready to go um, record Game of Thrones. So it's you know what I'm saying? So the time would have been cut short now, today. I'm doing it a little bit earlier, you know, so that was good. So thank you guys for for sticking around. And if you stick around for this review, man, I really appreciate it love you guys man you guys have been unbelievable you know what i'm saying um 
getting around, I think we're averaging probably around 200 to 250 views on these read-throughs, which is not bad, you know, it's, it's, it's doing better than a lot of things that I do on the channel, so I can't complain, you know what I mean, um, so thank you guys for watching as always, man, it's been great, it's been awesome, you already know who it is, you are Terror Squad, I am Mr. Terror by Reacts, and I will see you guys next time on Dragon Ball, no, Next time, here, welcome back, see you guys later, peace.